Getting late. Everything's been cursed. Where to now? Uh, hey, they're finally back! <laughs> That's nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that's something to be proud of? Good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian. All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy, Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Diplomacy before violence. We should try peaceful communication first. Both your approaches have merit. We would always rather avoid losses and settle matters through peaceful means. But if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarok's robots don't fear sacrifice. And I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarok. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarok just isn't the swaying type understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. 
And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of Wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great! What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sampo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps and you're there. It'd be cold and lifeless. Oh, turns out it's pretty busy. 
Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Hold still, you're nearly fixed. My design has been superseded by newer models. My components are no longer valuable. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters? Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. You know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. 
Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. No, no, no. You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> it only got settled after Boss Varog showed up. I said it before. Only Boss Varog can protect us down here. Well, what do you think? Cat got your tongue? Do you ever talk about anything else? I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. But, but it's true! What else is there to say? Hey, take a look at all these good-for-nothings. I'd starve to death without him. See those extra boxes of medical supplies at the depot? Who brought those over? Clara, I assume. I can't think of anyone else that'd do something that generous. Who's Clara? Is she one of us? <laughs> Not even close. She's Farog's trusted family. Family? Of a robot? Well, you'll understand when you've been here a while longer. gate. Secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Hmm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. A uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? 
Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Sforog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... the... Uh, special. one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you wanna know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Incorrect answer. Certification result. Uh, you know, friends, if you don't know the answer, you don't have to pretend you do. Reassessing. Subject threat index, high. Initializing combat module. Threat elimination activated. Uh, combat module? This thing's faulty, right? <sighs> Wishful thinking. It's about to attack. button says system reset. Let's give it a try. System reset. Successful. Certification sequence. Online. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Uh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! <sighs> so this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move.
Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Wrong! Congratulations, simple question. Terrible answer. It's back to school for you. Uh, can I smash this can opener already? Ha! You wanna go? You caught me in a bad mood. Let's do this. If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Suits me! Let's make it quick. coming right up. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Please extend your right hand. Not you. The girl over there. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Huh? Ow. There you are. Only one more to go. Now, please leave me in peace. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Init nish 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. <sighs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Gotta get those vitamins! Fights are like gambling. <laughs> Learn 
learned how to behave now? Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? Ah! How come it hurt even more than the other two? <sighs> At least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Barog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? Uh, gate? <sighs> Why is there another gate here? Looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again! Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh. Weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. To me, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. Indeed. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. It doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. This is a big town. Where should we start? 
Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. This is our chance. Take this! Let me tend to your wounds! You have the worst luck running into me! Rules are made to be broken. Decided strike! have done it without me. following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target. Must be in. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara! Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara! We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Great. Another one. Watch this! <laughs> Gotta get those vitamins! Oh, thanks a lot! Oh, better late than never. Time for the pants.
is our chance. Batter up! Rules are made to be broken. Running into looks like somebody needs a doctor. <laughs> hey, ah! Let's go. Wait for the tiles before you start counting. Come on, don't need this tile. <laughs> You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. We were planning on paying him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is 
is that better than putting up a fight? I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. <clears throat> Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. Hmm. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her.